apartment building complex. I turn to get in front of his apartment building and then I turn the car off. As soon as I turn the car off, Christmas tree light. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. My name is Miranda, and this is From Fluffy to Foxy, a weight loss transformation and information channel. Welcome to the end of week two. And today I want to share with you three things I learned this week um, that were very important for me to learn. Uh, two of them um, are situations that really anybody can learn from. One is a present that no one wants to get, and I got it on Christmas Day. Really, I can't make this up. It actually happened on Christmas Day. Stick around and you'll find out. <laughs> so the first thing that I want to cover is that I found it very hard to be consistent this week. It is the busiest time of the year. This week started on uh, Christmas Eve and went straight through till right before uh, New Year's Eve day. And even when an event wasn't going on, um, you were planning for the new year. So you're planning for events even when events aren't happening. So it was a very busy week this week. And even though I had planned for this week and I had a lot of things that I had in place, it still wasn't easy to be consistent. And I had to actually embrace the fact that my plan, um, because I'm a very analytical person, just wasn't going to happen. So I had to embrace the fact that this week just wasn't going to be consistent and that some weeks when it's very busy, it's going to be hard to be consistent and uh, having a plan in place may not work. And unfortunately, that was something that I learned this week. And uh, I'm going to have to come up with some solutions for that uh, going forward for the rest of the year uh, for when those busy weeks happen. And even though there's a plan in place, uh, maybe a contingency, contingency plan is also something that might want to happen as well, because sometimes the best laid plan just doesn't happen. <laughs> The second thing that happened this week was the present that no one wants to get. And it happened on Christmas Day. So let me set the scene for you. It's Christmas Day and my family and I, we wake up, we have a nice breakfast. Everybody opens their presents. They're having a wonderful day. And um, about one o'clock, I tell my kids, I'm like, get ready. We're going to go out. And they have no idea that there's an event planned for them. So they all get ready. We get in the car and we go to a indoor trampoline park and arcade. It had a free event that I got tickets for for two hours uh, where they got to enjoy the place. They had never been. So they were super excited when they got there that they were going to be able to uh, go and play in this um, event. And uh, we were there for about two hours and then we packed it in and came home. So I, we all got in the car. I drove home. I didn't even turn the car off. Everybody got out um, because my husband was prepping for Christmas dinner and I was to go pick up my brother and he lived across town like 25 minutes away. So I'm driving to my brother's place and everything's fine. Everything's good. And I'm driving to my brother's place and I get about five blocks away, literally almost to his, his place. He lives in an apartment building. And I get almost to his place and all of a sudden my ABS and traction lights come on. And I'm thinking, well, that's weird. That never happens. And I think, okay, maybe when I was readjusting in my seat, I hit my purse with my elbow into the traction button on the, on the side panel there. So maybe, maybe it's just that. Okay, it's not a big deal. But anybody who owns a car or who's driven in a car for a long period of time, as soon as something weird happens, immediately you're like paying more attention. You're listening for things. You're acutely aware of everything. And as I'm driving to his place, I notice that my car is revving very high. It's in the 3000 and not revving back down. So I'm a couple blocks from his place. I'm like, okay, sometimes you just turn the car off, turn it back on. It clears whatever weirdness is going on. It'll be fine. So that was my intent. So I drive to his place and he was waiting for me. So he's in his lobby. He sees me coming. He starts coming out. I turn into his apartment building complex. I turn to get in front of his apartment building. And then I turn the car off. As soon as I turn the car off, Christmas tree lights. No joke, red and green lights all over my dash. <laughs> and I'm like, universe, really? Like, this is not the time for this. I'm, I'm super busy today, please no. 
and I can't get my key out of the dash, out of, out of the ignition. I'm like, no, <laughs> okay, okay, no worries. And my brother gets in the car, shuts the door, looks over at me, and he's like, so we're taking a taxi? <laughs> Brothers. So calmly, try starting the car. Nothing, nothing. Okay, we'll call, we'll call roadside. So I am parked in front of his apartment at this point, like practically right in front of the doors. Not really, but you know. And I call my roadside. My roadside's like, try calls around and they're like, yeah, it's Christmas. Nobody wants to come get you. Are, are you safely parked? <laughs> no, I'm not safely parked. I'm in their fire route. I can't, I can't stay here till tomorrow. So they're like, okay, I'll, I'll try calling around some more. So finally they get somebody who's willing to pick me up on Christmas. I'm like, I know nobody wants to pick me up. It's Christmas. So they're going to be an hour and a half to pick me up. At this point, that'll be 7 p.m. Christmas dinner is off. Like it ain't happening now. So I'm like, obviously you're not coming for Christmas dinner at this point. My brother's like, yeah, no worries. Let me call somebody. So he gets out. He's on the phone. At this point of the conversation, my car's been off for about half an hour. He gets back in the car. I'm like, I'm going to try the car again. So I turn the car. It starts. And all the dash lights are cleared. I'm like, don't fool me. I know there's something up with this. So my car, I'm listening. And I can hear it going. I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah. Traction light comes on engine light comes on. Nope, we're not playing this game. Turn the car off. My key comes out of the ignition. Christmas miracle. So now I've got the key <laughs> at least out of the ignition, but definitely we're waiting for the tow because this car is going nowhere. So the car, uh, tow comes in about an hour. I was actually pretty impressed at how fast they came on Christmas. I thought it would be longer rather than shorter. I thought their hour and a half was going to be two hours, but they came in an hour. But there was a catch, of course. Normally, they will take the driver when they pick up your car and take the driver with them to the auto shop. And my auto shop is only a couple of blocks away from my house. I go to the same auto shop all the time. So I was thinking, no problem. I'm all the way across town. I will go with the tow truck driver and then I'll just walk home. No big deal. Nope. Nope, not happening. So tow truck driver won't take me. And I knew this when I originally called. So when my brother had gotten out of the car, he'd called his girlfriend and his girlfriend offered to drive me and my brother dropped me off at my place. So no problem. But there's a catch. I've never met her. My brother had only recently started dating her not long ago. So in the spirit of Christmas, she comes and picks me up, drives me back to my place and my brother spends Christmas with her. Everything worked out. I got to meet my brother's girlfriend for the first time. He got to spend Christmas with his girlfriend and my car got a present in the form of a new alternator. Because if you can't laugh, then you're just going to cry about it. So I learned to make light of the situation, to not stress over things that I have no control over and to find the humor <laughs> in the situations that are given to me this week. So my car got a present just like everyone else that in the form of the alternator. And that I think is the biggest message that I can have out of that situation is to just find the humor and not stress over things that we have no control over because it's, you can get worked up over these things, but all it's going to hurt is yourself. And the last thing that I wanted to talk about was not taking myself so seriously. This week was a busy week and it's about my weigh in. I mean, I could be up 10 pounds. I could be down 10 pounds. I could be the exact same weight down to the decimal point like last week. <laughs> but in the grand scheme of things with how much weight I have to lose, I am going to take a long time to lose this. It's going to be a long journey. Subscribe below to follow along. I want to hear about your journeys as well. The new year is right around the corner. Let's uh, start some healthy habits together this year. <laughs> so I'm not going to stress about the journey itself. I'm going to enjoy the adventure, so to speak. 
over celebrate the wins. I can't overly stress the potential um, increases in weight. I can't be disappointed with a plateau like last week where I didn't lose anything. I was the, to the decimal point, the exact same weight. I can just enjoy the journey and what I learned each week and how each week went and just try my best every week. And that's all I want for you guys as well is to just try your best every week and not take everything so seriously because stress can negatively affect you. And I don't want you to be affected and your mental health to be affected by something like your weight. This isn't supposed to be just about your weight. It's supposed to be about healthy habits. And that's what I'm trying to embrace as well. All the little changes that go to making a healthier me and a healthier you. So this is what I want to do for this channel. And I want you guys to comment below on what healthy habits you're going to change for the upcoming new year. So now we're going to get into my actual weight loss information for this week. Uh, the video I took and the actual uh, numbers from the Renfu app. Um, the reason I'm using the Renfu app, if you're new, is because I like keeping everything in one spot. I have ADHD. I like everything nice and uh, nice and organized. So that's why I use the Renfu app. I've got a Renfu scale. I've got a Renfu measuring tape. Everything's in one place. I can find everything at a glance. I don't have to track down papers that I might have misplaced or anything like that. That's for me. You do you, boo. <laughs> So if you wanted to track it on paper, track it in a different way, that's perfectly fine. Do it the way that you're most comfortable with. This is how I'm doing it. And you'll see that, that information throughout this journey on the uh, pictures that I put up. So you're going to see just the information for the weight because I'm only going to do my measurements once a month. So that's going to show now. And um, we're going to see what the results are. So today is the end of week two, and we're going to get my way in for today. Today is officially New Year's Day, January 1st, and we're going to see where my starting point is going to be for my official launch of my way in for my weight loss journey. So let's take a look here and see where we're at. So I'm up just over a pound and considering that I normally gain about 10 to 15 pounds over the course of the holiday season, um, I'm going to call that a win. <laughs> so we're starting at exactly 262 and that's where we're at. So until next time, stay awesome.